New at six, a mother demanding that Rock Hill school districts pay for her children's medical bills after she says her sons were hurt on the bus on the way home from school. The children claiming that the driver slammed on the brakes. Our Billie Jean Shaw talking to that mother in the district about the allegations. And Billie Jean, what have you learned? Tonight, several students from Independence Elementary in Rock Hill reliving what they call the scariest ride ever. I just was scared because I'm only 10 years old and I didn't want to die whenever I'm 10. Last Tuesday, the students were among dozens on school bus 63 when they say the ride took a turn for the worse. And then we stopped and we started rolling and we were trying to tell the bus driver that we were rolling. And then the bus driver slammed on the brakes. Everyone flew forward and then we all slammed and hit our head. Some students like Landon say they were injured. Where did you get hurt? My legs, my shoulders. Where did your brother get hurt? On his lip, his um, neck and his shoulder. Their mother, Michelle Klutz, telling us she was so worried she took the boys to the ER. Ashton had bit down on his lip and I could tell it was a deep cut. Michelle, along with several parents, took their concerns to the school district. But administrators tell NBC Charlotte some of the children's claims are exaggerated. To prove their point, the district allowed parents to view the two-hour-long surveillance footage from the bus ride. At one point, the district says the driver left his seat with the bus still in drive. When the bus started rolling you hear the kids screaming and I seen Ashton his neck flew one way he hit the back of the seat it flew another way he hit the front of the seat but district leaders say the video doesn't show that a spokesperson tells NBC Charlotte the bus did roll for one second while the driver got up to get the attention of another student but the impact from the driver hitting the brakes would not cause any injuries now, the district tells us the bus driver that day was a substitute, and since this incident, he's now been placed on leave. Reporting in Rock Hill, Billie Jean Shaw, back to you.